Welcome to the screencast of new graphs and charts introducing API Manager 200 for API Analytics. I am Pubudukuna Dilika, a software engineer at WSO2. API Analytics plays a key role in the operations of the APIs. WSO2 API Manager introduces powerful analytics features by using the capabilities of WSO2 Data Analytics Server by bringing all API application and subscription related statistics to one location. In this screencast, I will walk through the latest additions to WSO2 API Analytics. The API Latency Breakdown Graph is the one of the additions to WSO2 API Manager. This graph can be used to check the time consumption in each level of the message flow. You can select an API and a version. You can get the statistics for the day, week, and for the month, or even you can apply a date range. API latency can be dropped due to many reasons. It could be your authentication layer, or even it could be your backend. So this graph helps you to identify where the delay is, so that you can find in for latency. For an example, in this. API request it has spent 11 milliseconds at the backend and 8 milliseconds at the authentication layer. Totally, it has taken 26 milliseconds to complete the API request. Another cool feature is that you can compare between two API versions and also you can check the time it has taken in each of the mediation flows. The next graph is API usage across geolocations. This will be useful for API providers who expose their APIs across the globe using WSO2 API Manager. This can be used to identify the location with maximum potential for making business related decisions. For an example, you can identify the best region for promoting a service or an API. And also, based on the graph, you can design how to place your infrastructure. You can select an API and a version and apply a time range. In this graph, it shows the request by country. For US, we shows the state-wise request count. API usage across usage agent is the next graph. A single API can have different subscribers who use different platforms. API developers can use this graph to analyze how their APIs are used across different user agents. Based on the audience, you can improve the API. For an example, this has been used by Android, iOS, Linux, etc. Additionally, we have introduced three more graphs created APIs over time. This shows the APIs that have been created over the time period, developer signups over time, and subscriptions created over time. In the admin portal, we have introduced a new chart to show the availability of an API, which is a real-time chart. It shows the status of an API. An API could be available or limited. And that brings us to the end of the screencast of new graphs and charts introducing API Manager 200 for API Analytics. Thank you very much.